We are Seafood, and our company is developing an app to help you break out of your comfort zone when ordering food. This problem first occurred to me when I was in Paris with my friends. The, men the menu was in a different language, so it was very difficult to read, as one may think. But lo and behold, it happened when I got home. When my friends and I went out to, to a Chinese restaurant, I stuck with what I knew, orange chicken, and they went with something a little bit more foreign. However, when the food came out, it was, a, it was completely different than what they imagined. So that's where this problem first occurred. This is the, I'm the team manager of the team. Hi, I'm Alyssa. I'm a business communicator of the team here. I'm Nathan Gardner. I'm uh, part of the design, the programming. And I'm Mark Astorino, and I'm also a programmer and designer for the app. Awesome. So this is our customer, uh, Madison. She's 25 years old. She's uh, a recreational therapist. And she says that she eats out uh, at least two times a week. Um, she told us that she often likes to eat at foreign restaurants, um, but at times she's intimidated when she looks at the menu and doesn't understand what the foods are or what she's going to receive. Um, as you can see in this picture, it can be very frightening to look at a menu and not know anything that's on there or what you're going to be receiving. And so usually as Americans, uh, we're kind of tempted just to go get a burger. Um, but we want to help people have that ability to eat at restaurants they want to and receive food that they think that they're expecting. Um, so our so our app is Seafood. So whenever you go out to a restaurant, is the app going to pop up, like make sure that you're in the restaurant. They're going to ask if you're in that restaurant, like in the pictures, they're like, are you at the Woodland Indians? So if you add, you just click true, and then, and if you don't see the food that pop up on the right pictures, you can just put in the food that you're like looking for, and they're gonna display the review that people post or um, the food that you're looking for, and um, later on you can leave a review for the next person to look on, so people can look up there to the food and know what's good and what is bad there. So for our um, market opportunity is um, just like Madison, a lot of people like to eat outside, uh, but they are afraid to choose the food that they, they don't know because a lot of um, menus don't have pictures of their food which causes people to only choose what they feel comfortable with, which means that they only choose like two um, dishes all the time. Um, and now with this app, people can see what's the, what the dish looks like and can see other people's review. Um, so they can have better ideas like whether they will like it or not, you know, people do have different tastes. So with um, better description, um, you have better ideas on the food. Um, for competitive ad analysis for the seafood, we do uh, have picture of specific dishes. Um, Yelp and Google View actually do have pictures, but it's not for the specific dish. Ours is more of the that dish and it's more detailed uh, review on it. And then we, um, oh, and you also know the top dishes that ordered at the restaurant, it is recommended in that app. Um, for the business model, we um, put it on Google Play and App Store, you can download from there. Um, the main way we make money is there is apps uh, at the very bottom. I mean, there's ads at the very bottom of the app, uh, which the restaurants pay us to put it on the app. Uh, our, for our roadmap, in March, we do interviews and prototype and brainstorming. And in April, 
also interview people and then we do the app development. In May, we improve the app, we refine it, and then we make it more uh, customer friendly and release it to users. And that's it for our seafood. <laughs>